drinking buddies, I wanted to give my list of the five best bottles of 2023 so far. Let's go. Have your drinking buddy. Drinking Buddies, before we get started, I want you guys, if you're not a subscriber, to go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Uh, become a member of this community. It's free and uh, we're a really great community. Uh, I would love to have more of you join as, as just subscribers for free. I get about 15,000 different people clicking on my channel and watching at least one video a week. And I have 7,500 subscribers. So just do me a favor, go down, hit subscribe under there on this video. And help me out, let's get that number to 10,000 soon, sooner than later. All right, let's dive in. Before we begin, I wanted to give a few honorable mentions that I just haven't had a chance to open yet, that I will soon. I'm pretty sure Barrel Batch 35 is gonna be really good. Russell's 13, the new batch is gonna be really good. Shanks 2023, gonna be really good. As well as the Found North Second Summit. I know those are gonna be really great releases. I just haven't, I got so many bottles recently, I haven't had time to open those. So those could make, those could be on the list, admittingly, but uh, since I haven't had enough time to open them yet, um, you know, I'm saving them for blind flights and things like that, uh, they can't quite make the list. So first up, we are going to have one from, starting first at number five, we're gonna go ahead and have Jack Daniels 12. This release is really freaking good. I really like it. I've had it three times and I've yet to open this bottle because I view it as kind of a special occasion pour because I think it's gonna be really, really hard to get from here on out because it's really good. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's very good, uh, tons of banana, but it's tamed by some oak presence as it gets older. 107 proof, great proof point, wonderful, wonderful unicorn pour. Really, really good stuff. For number four, we're gonna go with the new barrel proof Bernheim wheat whiskey. This is gonna be A223, 118.8 proof. And for my money, I think I like this better than the Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs and the Larceny Barrel Proofs. Don't, don't kill me, don't shoot me. But I do, I think this is a really, really solid pour. Um, it, de it delivers what I want out of a Larceny Barrel Proof that I don't get, where it's got some wheat presence, but not tasting like it's lava. Uh, the Larceny Barrel Proofs taste much hotter than they are. They taste kind of younger than they, are, than they should taste. And this is, uh, I believe, I think it says on here, eight years. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't taste young. It doesn't taste youthy. It doesn't taste grain for it. It just tastes good. Third place, we're going to go with Maker's BEP. Now, this is kind of a surprise for the, to make this list, but the way that this bottle has been just delivering every time I do it blind, I get something different off of this thing every time I drink it blind. And it's been really fun to experience that. Uh, every time I go to this, I'm noticing something different. It is a really complex, great whiskey. It's 110.7 proof. And yeah, it's one that the more I taste it, the more I like it. So it had to make the list. Number two, we're gonna go with... Found North Batch 7. Absolutely outstanding release from Found North. Everything Found North is doing right now I am just really, really vibing with, and this might be the best thing they've released. Uh, as soon as I can, I'm gonna do a blind with all of the Found North that I have to see which one is actually my favorite, but I suspect it could be this one. That or Batch 5. Batch 5, it just blows me away every time I taste it. And my number one, my best whiskey of the year so far, it was very limited and it's one that you can't get, but it's my favorite. So I have to be honest with you, it's my favorite so far, and that is the Peralta Bourbon Cask Strength. This thing is just so freaking wild i can't not mention it on this list and it is my favorite of the re release so far this year um 120 let's see 133 proof um five years aged in the hottest part of the uh, warehouse here and up in tempe so tastes a lot older than it is um and it is loaded with some really unique flavors a lot of dark chocolate a lot of chili wonderful wonderful bottle um my favorite Whiskey of the year so far. Uh, you know, it, it could be a toss up between these two, but I'm leaning on the on the uh, the adventurous stills because it's so unique and so interesting. And uh, yeah, I will say that the only bottle up here that they gave me was the Found North. Everything else I paid for. So if that means anything, you know, the Found North I did get from the company, uh, but that doesn't that doesn't affect my opinion of it. Honestly, the Found North stuff is fantastic and. 
Anyway, drinking buddies, so far these are my five favorites. We still have some releases, like I said, that I haven't even gotten a chance to try yet. We still have, you know, the fall where a lot of the big stuff comes out. Your BTAC line comes out then, you know, your Pappy line comes out then, and a lot of the really high-end things that I might not even be able to get my hands on. So, uh, you know, there could be better bottles out there by the end of the year, but I might not even get to try them. Anyway, drinking buddies, these are my five favorites so far. We'll see you on the next one.